<sighs> well folks, welcome back to another Yonder on the Mountain adventure. We're up in the heart of Northumberland. We've got a beautiful day and I want to incorporate two things today. The first one, get these legs moving, get a bit of exercise done. So we've got a good three or four mile hike today. And also I'm going to be doing a review of the new Nightcat two person tent that Nightcat kindly sent to us. Uh, the last week's video, I was up in the Cairngorm National Park, testing it out in 63 kilometre winds, and it was fantastic. But I've had loads of questions about it since, so today is the review video. Um, but we're up at a fantastic location here in Northumberland. So, with no further ado, let's go for it. Oh yes, fantastic. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. Two mile hike, and we're up at Rothley Castle here in Northumberland. And this is an 18th century Gothic folly, built to replicate a medieval uh, castle. And it looks fantastic. It really dominates the skyline or the landscape here, up in this particular part of Northumberland. Uh, but anyway, you haven't come to see this or me hiking around the hills. You've come to see the Nightcat two-person ultralight backpacking tent. So we're no more foot slavering on. Let's go and find a flat pitch out the wind and let's get this thing up and running. Well, here we are. The Nightcat ultralight two-person backpacking shelter. Um, and this is how it comes. Dimensions wise, this is 36 centimetres by 18 centimeters uh, it's very lightweight um, it's coming in at 1.5 kilograms which really does make a big difference to the weight and pack size as well um, massive massive difference normally i'm carrying kind of bigger tents or heavier tents and if you're doing longer kind of treks um, it takes its toll so first things first very very lightweight let's have a look inside and see what you get with this thing so you do actually get, and I, I really quite like this actually, you get a ground sheet or footprint that comes with it. This is 8,000 static head units, and that gets placed first, and this tent sits on top of it, of course, as you would expect. Nice waterproof stuff sack, which is great. Night cut are great with that type of stuff. So you don't get any tent poles, as you would expect. It's a trek and pole tent, so you have your own trekking poles, and I'll show you how that works. You get your pegs here. These are the lightweight, very, very lightweight aluminium pegs. Um, they are prone to bending. However, I can see what Nightcat have done. Uh, this Lanshan style tent, they wanted to keep the weight down. So these are mega lightweight. And it also comes with some other guy ropes as well, which is great. And again, comes in its lovely color coated khaki pack as well. And the actual tent itself, well, this is a different uh, a different ball game altogether. I'll um, I'll get it um, put out for you, but I just wanted to show you just the actual colour of it and the the material here is fantastic, very very waterproof. So I've got a relatively flat space here. Let's get it pegged out, and we'll see how we get on. So once we've got the footprint down in place, that gives it a nice bit of protection. This is quite hard wearing material as well. I'll tell you a little bit about the material as it is. This pitch is inner and outer connected, as you can see. So let's get it uh, moved into place. So once you've got it in place, the next thing is to do is to uh, is to get your pole in place. And I've got this set of one meter 25, 125 centimeters, which is the recommended height from Nightcat. Um, and on my last camp where I was up in Loch Morlock overnight, that proved to be absolutely spot on. So what you do is essentially is you just fold it into the inside and up on the housing bit, which is essentially there, there's a padded section there. So it's not gonna cause any damage. Right, let's get it up. So 
so once it's basically taken its shape then you can start tensioning these up and you can see the loops here they just go over the pegs and then they can be tensioned to make it nice and taut well there we go it literally only takes five minutes to pitch it's dead easy absolutely dead easy the material itself is fantastic really good it's 5000 static head units this is 15d silicone nylon on the outer um, and the bathtub and the inner or uh, well, the bathroom itself is 8,000 static head units as well, uh, which is great because that means you're not going to get any water ingress coming through from the bottom. And of course, you've got the footprint in place as well. And the inner and the bathtub is 20D silicon nylon as well. So you can see straight away, that's actually really strong. And the dynamics of it as well, where you are within the wind, actually, no matter where you pitch it, it's going to be strong and sturdy. Right, let's have a look inside. Tell you what, incidentally, storm flap, great. Zips, great. You know I'm a stickler for that as well. Um, yeah, that storm shield's good with good Velcro, protecting you from there. And you've got ventilation from these little hubs at the top. Right, let's have a look. Well, there's certainly plenty of room and you can adjust it with this as well. That's the beauty of it. I've got it one meter, one meter 25. And what that means is you can hunker it down. But in actual fact, there's plenty of headroom here. That's me sat up there and I've got a, another good half an arm's length above my head here. Um, plenty of space. The vestibule is, um, is massive. You've absolutely got loads of space here, which is great for cooking, storing your boots. Uh, your rucksack, all your gear, there's absolutely bags of room there. And the inner itself, this bug mesh, is very, very tightly woven. I know for a fact I've already tried this in a, in a forest um, where there's a lot of insects. Absolutely nothing in here whatsoever. This is great. Well, once you're inside, it feels very, very spacious. Um, and you also feel very kind of protected, actually. Um, along the bottom of both ends here, um, the bug mesh turns into the, the thicker material and that kind of just protects you from prevailing winds a little bit more at your feet and at your head, uh, which is good. Plenty of ventilation and loads of space. The dimensions are 2 meters 30 long by 1 meter 30 wide. Um, and I know from experience, having tried this thing, absolutely loads of room there my head's nowhere near the top there and either on my feet and that's obviously one person and the second person there as well and of course the vestibules are big enough to have your rucksacks definitely good for two people your rucksacks your food equipment your hiking boots all the gear electricals all the things that you would need for a multi-day trek and through hike um, this is absolutely top class the build quality is great the zips are good the storm shield it's lightweight it's definitely two person i would say it's a three season but you know what you could probably depending on the conditions you could probably get away with this in winter as well like it's um it's a great bit of kit lantern hanging points there's even some storage which you'll might be able to just see there on camera there as well do you know what for what it is this thing's absolutely top class I'm really liking this. I'm going to be using this a lot. I was going to be doing the North, sorry, the West Highland Way with the one person version of this, that Nightcat Kindly Centers. But you know what? This is just too, so much of a game changer. I'm going to be using this instead. Top class. What's the verdict on this then? 
I think all things put together, I'm struggling to actually think about any particular downsides to this, if I'm being honest. I mean, this is a Lanshan 2, essentially. They're tried and tested. You know, people have been using these for quite some time now, doing some pretty serious missions, and I don't think I've seen any bad videos on these. Um... I'm struggling to think of any bad sides. There's loads of positives. The big one being, of course, it's lightweight, it's durable, it's strong, it's waterproof, it's definitely wind resistant or good in the wind, should I say. Do you know what? Even if you were to forget your poles, because it's got these pull out points here, you could either use branches or if you were somewhere in a woodland, you could attach it to trees. Um, and you know what, the colour as well, the khaki colour. When I was in the woodland, it blended in very, very nicely. So if you want to be a bit stealth, you can be. Um, the logo looks good on it, the tension and straps, everything that it comes with. It's just absolutely top quality stuff. Just because Nightcat have sent us it doesn't mean I'm going to tell you it's good if it's not, if it's crap, I would tell you. But it's class, absolutely class. Loads of room adjust it to whatever you want you can see there's a bit of a gap down there but again you can adjust that as well aye it's um it's class absolutely class right guys i hope you've enjoyed that uh, that review video and in a, such a stunning location as well absolutely beautiful i've just been speaking to a girl there she's coming up to do a film shoot up, up here what that's for i don't know but we might see that coming soon anyway. Um, and she was having a look at the tent, and she's a wild camper herself, and she says she's got the Lion Chan too, and she was well impressed. She loved it. She loved the colour, and she loved the logo, actually, the Nightcat logo. So, guys, I'm going to get this packed away. It's going to take us two minutes to drop this and put it into the pack. I'm going to have a little bit of a wander around the beautiful surroundings here at Rothley Castle, and then I've got a two-mile hike back to the car. So I've managed to tick two boxes, get a good walk in, and uh, get a review video done um, I would love to hear your comments as always um, I know there's been a lot of people asking some questions about it so hopefully in this video I've been able to answer them um, if there's anything else you want to know about it just drop us a drop us a comment um, you can catch us on Instagram Yonder Mountain Adventures send us a DM if you've got any questions about it as well I'll put a few posts and reel on about this on Instagram as well I'll put the link in the description um, for the tent from the Nightcap website um, at the minute, it's retailing at £147, and whatever the pennies are, which, that's a bargain. This thing is going to last you a lifetime. It's a top-class bit of gear. But also, when you go onto their website, there's a little pop-up comes up, and it gives you 20% discount as well, which is, like, unbelievable, and I'm sure it applies to this one. If it doesn't, 147 quid, Absolutely mint. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'm going to get this packed away and head back. Uh, as always... How important is it, you know, to come out into these beautiful places? Um, it was a little bit windswept and blustery before, and you know what? It's just beautiful. Um, forget about the TV and the newspaper and the radio and Facebook and all the doom and gloom and everything that's going on. Get yourself out, get up off the settee, get your backpack on, get a flask of coffee or whatever you want. Get out down to your local woodland or wherever and soak up some prescription nature. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to get this dropped. I'll see you on the next Yonder Mountain Adventure.